Ethnic tension, Igbo and Yoruba, beware. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. It is bewildering that some disgruntled people are busy stoking the embers of ethnic strife between the Igbos and Yoruba people across the country, especially in Lagos. This mindless attitude questions every claim of common sense in any enlightened person. The bone of contention is the 2023 general elections pointedly the seat of the president. Suddenly, political apostles claim to love the politicians more than the politicians love themselves. Such uncouchness pulverizes every, every strand of humanity within the context of civilized order. Everywhere you turn, on every social media platform, disoriented elements are busy preventing the still narrative that the Igbos hate the Yoruba and the Yoruba hates the Igbos. Nothing is more appalling. The peddlers of these hate messages with hearts full of animosity magnify every infinite muscle, infinitesimal news item, turning it into an emblem of hostile revulsion. The push this offending figment of the imagination into the public space to unsettle the polity. One wonders what these purveyors of hate and hostility stand to gain if their bloody intentions gain traction leading to a breakdown of law and order between the two inseparable brotherly ethnic groups. For many of these agents of that, once anybody supports me to be, the person is a bullet-to-nimble hater and disrespectful to the Yoruba people. The question is, can we in all honesty say that bullet-to-nimble represent the Yoruba ethnic group? There are millions of people from different ethnic groups in Nigeria, including the Yoruba, who believe that Tenembo is not what Nigeria needs at this time. He is the all-progressive Congress candidate, and there are other political parties in Nigeria with their candidates for the office of the president. Therefore, to say Bola Tenembo represents the Yoruba is to insult millions of Yoruba people who do not share that sentiment. Tenembo has his agenda as a potential president which does not resonate well with millions of people across the country, among them Yoruba and many others. In the same vein, many people see any Tenembo supporter as a hater of the Igbo people. But many Igbo people do not support B2B or believe in his philosophy. The question to ask is, can we rightly know how to say that P2B represents the Igbos in today's Nigerian politics? P2B is the presidential flag bearer of the Labour Party, which is a national party. Millions of people from different ethnicities support him as a beacon of hope for an alien country. Millions do not think he has what it takes to occupy Asurok. These analyses are important so that those who want the Igbos and Yoruba to go to war will see the futility of the ideas. Anybody who shares any information post on any social media platform to cause enmity between the Igbos and Yoruba is an agent of death. Anybody who insults any ethnic group while supporting the politician drinks from the same troll as Satan. The undisputable suzerain emperor of the kingdom of production, of production, support your candidate, promote him, share information to diminish the chances of other candidates, but don't share hate speech. Different people, colleagues at work, former classmates, business associates, and neighbors have all turned enemies due to the political aspiration of P2B and Bola Tenembo. It is sad. Politics is a beautiful act, but some people do not believe it can take place without bloodshed. Many Yoruba people in Inugu, Aba, Oberu, Umahi, and other major Igbo cities support Tenembo. Many Igbo people in Lagos, Akoro, Abiyokuta, Oshun, Ibadan, and other major Yoruba cities support P2B. Some Igbo support Tenembo. Some Yoruba people support P2B. Most importantly, I am convinced that P2B and Bola Tenembo are not enemies. Therefore, it is senseless to attempt to create chaos and imperil the lives of any ethnic groups living in any part of Nigeria because of their political preferences. We may know the beginning of a matter, but we may not know the end of it. Let us immediately quit all manner of inciting behavior. It is needless to create enemies because of politics, while politicians remain friends and associates. Every Nigerian has a right to live legitimately in any part of the country and earn a living. P2B does not own Igbo land or any city in the southeast. Bola Tsudumu does not own Yoruba land or any city in the southwest. If you are reading this piece and you share this poster traffic on ethnic hate, shame on you. In the past, many Igbo people voted for Abiola. 
many Yoruba people voted for Tofa against Abiola. I remember clearly that many Igbo people voted for Awolowa as a GPN presidential flag bearer. Many Yoruba people voted for Zeke as an NNPP, as an NPP presidential flag bearer. So where is the ethnic mindset in all of this? Politics in the 21st century has gone beyond these demarcations. The Igbo and Yoruba must get some sense and quit hedge speech immediately. Both ethnicities are suffering the same economic fate in the country. If a leader emerges, we will all suffer more. If a bad leader emerges, we will all suffer more. If a good leader emerges, we will all be better for it. Sincerely, Oga, congratulations for writing this piece. In fact, you have just written my mind. Support whoever you want to support. Market who you want to market. The way it got me was where he said a lot of people, colleagues, family, friends, you know, business associates, have turned enemies to themselves. Why? They have turned enemies to themselves. And you keep asking yourself, how did we even get here in the first place? How? How do we get to a place where we are now filled with so much hate? It is not supposed to be so. It is not, you're not even supposed to be like this at all, at all, at all. You're not supposed to be like this at all. So, the thing is, not all of us there inside this pot will be see pot of boiling oil. Not all of us there inside. Everybody's a victim here. There is nothing like hate. Same to unable people that hate Yoruba. Yoruba is the best tribe in Africa and Nigeria. Well, let me say this. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Last, last, now all of us now live for inside this hot oil. Have you heard when they said, oh, the Southwesterners go to this place and get groceries for less price? Or you have said, oh, the Igbo people go to this filling station and get fuel or diesel at a discounted price? The thing we say, these people, they use us to play politics. Do you know that these politicians... They are friends with themselves and they discuss business issues. But me and you, we hate ourselves for no reason. Our mom is supposed to don't do. I've said it before, the only way we can make Nigeria better is to move forward together without moving together and having a unity of purpose. We go nowhere. The earlier we know that our togetherness or togetherness guarantees our moving forward, the better for us. Okay. We know they hate us. But God will settle it soon. Come to think of it, it is the Yorubas that hate the Igbos. Yoruba has produced presidents and Igbo supported them. Why not Yoruba support Igbos in this president project of Nigeria? Well, like I say again, make we drop all our differences. Tell ourselves the truth. Come together and find a lasting solution to the problem bedvedding the nation. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy.